Beloved Masters, for many of you, it is the beginning of a new year on Earth, however, when you look at the larger picture from our vantage point it is the beginning of a new era, and a new golden age. Many of you will protest, but it does not seem like a new golden age. In the past, any new creation that was brought forth on the earthly plane took much effort, and often pain, struggle, and strife. That is still the mode of creation in many parts of your world, however, it need not be so. We have told you that the light is separating from the shadows, and it is almost as if two worlds were superimposed, one over the other. One world is filled with varying degrees of fear, hate, judgment, greed, and a desire to control and conquer the lands of the earth, as well as a desire to dominate and subjugate the peoples of the earth by whatever means thought necessary. The billions of beautiful young souls who are caught in the maelstrom of this ever-accelerating chaos are the ones who suffer the most. That world is swiftly deteriorating as a blanket of all the negative thought forms descends upon those lands and magnifies the vortexes of hate that have been created. Oh yes, there are vortexes of darkness, just as there are vortexes of light, and the foretold Armageddon has surely arrived in those places. The world of light that is superimposed over the world of shadows is a world of hope, a world that amplifies all that is beautiful and harmonious. This world of light radiance is filled with brotherly or sisterly love, peace, joy, and abundance a world where spirit and humanity have joined forces once more, where all are donning their spiritual armor as, symbolically, we march forth to show that, together, we are invincible. In this world, you are becoming proficient in using the universal laws of creation as you bring forth greater and greater physical manifestations of what you desire in your corner of paradise. Miracles abound both large and small, as you tap into your divine source and become a partner with your God Seed Adam and angelic helpers. Your light is becoming more radiant, and you are becoming a strong, positive force for good within your sphere of influence. Of late, we have spoken much about the importance and the power of the pyramid, for there are many dear souls who are awakening to the divine discontent of the soul. The pyramids of light, which are stationed throughout the multi-dimensions of this sub-universe, are storehouses of Creator Light. They are the way stations on the path that will lead you back into your true homeland among the stars. For those of you who are recent aspirants on the path, allow us give you a simplified vision of how pyramid power is being used. Envision a pyramid with steps on each of the four sides, which gradually lead to the apex. At the base, on two sides, are all those dear souls who are caught in the web of deception and lower vibrational energy those who are struggling to control their world of negativity in whatever way necessary, a reality which is swiftly falling apart. On the other two sides of the base of the pyramid are all those dear souls who are struggling to survive and to live the best way they know how. They are dominated by outside forces over which they seem to have no control. Therefore, in varying degrees, they are also caught up in the world of limitation, fear, and negativity, but deep within there is a desire, which manifests as a deep discontent with life, to reconnect with their Creator and fulfill their chosen mission on Earth. At the apex of the pyramid is a capstone of light here all of you will come, at one time or another, the ways Howers, the Vanguard, the Warriors of Light or Peace all those who have aligned with the Light and our Creator in the cosmic campaign to re-establish Paradise on Earth. As we join together in our Great Pyramid of Light which forms the capstone, we send forth unconditional love to the earth and all humanity. Our combined love or light energy radiates down upon all who are on the base of the pyramid at any level thereof. This gift is available to all who are willing to partake of this transforming infusion, by opening their heart centers in order for the love or light of the Creator to flow within. The light is always seeking the light within the darkness. No matter how dim a spark within someone may seem, it can be ignited and will eventually burst into flame. In doing so, this facilitates and speeds up the healing or balancing process so that anyone, regardless of who they are or what they have done, has the potential to rise quickly up the pyramid of ascension and into the light. No one is excluded. With open arms, the Creator holds wide the door of redemption so that all may pass through. This is the rare gift that is being offered at this time, a gift that is only offered at the end of an era and the beginning of a new age. The pyramidal energies are a vital life force, 
both within the etheric planes of expression and on the physical planes. Therein dwells the manifested consciousness of the Creator Adamantin particles of divine life or light, white fire seed atoms which hold all the pure life force substance needed to transform the earth and all life forms. You also have pyramidal forms of light consciousness within your body, which are activated as you balance the frequency patterns within, and begin to build your vessel of light. As this process accelerates, you will also activate the power matrix crystals throughout your bodies, the crystalline spheres of galactic consciousness at the crown, the ascension chakra at the base of the skull, and your I am seed crystal within the third eye. How do you access these blessed gifts? By moving into harmony within and without, into the still point of God consciousness, whereby you function either in a mode of neutrality, or you radiate positive life force energy out into the world. You have often heard the saying, many are called, but few are chosen. You all are among those who were called forth, or you would not be on earth in a physical vessel at this momentous time. We will change that old phrase to, for many are now being chosen. Who is doing the choosing? You are. You choose yourself. You must make the choice as to which world you will live in. You must make the choice as to where you will reside within the pyramid of life. No one can choose for you. These are decisions each of you must make for yourself, however, when you choose the way of light, we will take your hand and ease the path all the way to the shining capstone. Our primary goal, during these accelerating times of transformation, is to assist you in integrating into your memory bank of higher consciousness the major required steps, universal laws and conditions of ascension into a fifth dimensional environment. The ascension goal for humanity, within this era of earthly experience, is to integrate all of the remaining soul fragments of the individual soul self, within the third or fourth dimensions, which will initiate an entry into the lowest subplane, sacred triad, of the fifth dimension. This is the major goal for this round of evolution. In order to accomplish this, your personality or ego must become attuned with your soul or higher self as you strive to realign your many levels of reality and become harmonious with your God self and I am presence. Going into your pyramid of light is the swiftest and surest way to tap into the divine source of creation. Envision billions of tiny crystalline pyramids of light filled with divine energy or consciousness of the highest vibrations, descending, surrounding and filling you as you bring forth new thought forms, ideas and inspiration. Tap into and use the dynamic force of the universal mind, and release yourself from the confines of the earth and the limitations of the mass consciousness beliefs. Learn the basic laws of universal creation or manifestation. Learn to distinguish between the desires of spirit and the ego desire personality. Ego desires, wants and needs have emotional foundations, whereby you look outside yourself for something, someone or some event to fulfill an inner craving. The ego is never satisfied, and it continually looks for something or someone new to satisfy the cravings, which often become addictions. When you are in harmony with spirit, all your physical desires or needs are waiting for you to claim them expect and demand that it be so. However, you must be an active partner and take the physical action necessary to bring your dreams to fruition. You must activate and draw to you the positive vibrations needed to manifest your visions in physical form. The earth plane is a world stimulated by action and reaction. In a world of polarity and duality, the forces of opposition have been your best teachers. Negative experiences bring into your consciousness your own truth via valid experiences. It is time to put aside indecision. Feel, sense with your heart and inner knowing what are correct or incorrect action or thoughts. As you learn and gain wisdom from an occurrence or an interaction with another person, no longer will you have to experience the cause or effect syndrome of your negative actions, otherwise known as karma. It is vital that you understand the true meaning of life and death. The guise you have assumed in this lifetime is just a minuscule facet of who you truly are, what you have been, and what you will be in the future. The passage or death of the physical vessel is only a transition into another state of being. Be bold in your endeavors to change the old belief patterns regarding death. Release the souls of your loved ones with love, and do not bind them to earth planes with your grief. Yes, you will miss them, and you will experience a time of grieving, 
but know that they will always be with you in spirit. By sending them your loving energy, you will assist those who have transcended to move quickly into the realms of love or light. Beloveds, they do not go to an amorphous place, but to a wondrous world more real than the one in which you reside, where they can live in joy, be of service, learn and experience all the things they have desired, but could not attain on the earth plane. If you so desire, at some future time, you may communicate with them, however, you must clear the path for telepathic communication with those who reside in the unseen realms. Many are choosing to leave your planet during these times of great turmoil. Know that they are, or will be, in a place of great joy where peace and harmony reign supreme, and they will assist you in many wondrous ways from their heightened state of being. You must learn patience and understand that time as you know it is rapidly changing. Build your visions in harmony with spirit, and then know that all will manifest in the proper time. When you align with spirit, all will manifest with perfect timing, and under the right conditions. You must have patience with those around you, and strive to see the best in all people and all things, thereby magnifying the positive energy and repelling any negativity that has been created. You will rise above the mundane world and return to balance and harmony within. Your radiance will expand exponentially, and you will consistently radiate love or light from your solar power center. It becomes a natural state of being, and you will begin to view the world and events from a higher vantage point that of a master. You have experienced many cycles of poverty and wealth, in all areas of expression, which will eventually lead you to the conclusion that true wealth is in regaining the wisdom of your soul or higher self, and in reunion with your God Seed Adam. The treasure chest which holds your divine birthright will open wide as you bring all into harmony once more. Your sensitivities are increasing, and your needs or desires are changing. You are becoming a person of peace, and you will greatly value your solitude. You will feel uncomfortable and no longer desire to be in social situations of lower vibrations. You must experience aloneness in order to discover who you truly are. You are unique and must learn to act from an intuitive level, not an emotional level. This must start within as you begin to withdraw your energy streams from others, and go through the process of cutting the cords or energy streams that others have attached to you via your solar plexus. Remember to bless them as they follow their own path, and you follow yours. You will be at peace in any situation when your beliefs are based on truth. You will know that you have moved into harmony with your soul self when you have no reactions of an emotional nature to the seemingly negative events in your life. You will transcend your astrological influences as you integrate the positive energies of all twelve astrological signs. During your nightly sojourns, you will visit the seven spheres of God Consciousness, to assist you with the integration of the positive energies all the virtues and attributes of the seven rays thereby balancing and activating all the major and minor chakras within the physical body. The five higher rays of galactic consciousness are also being integrated within, and they are transmuting, activating and redefining your DNA, and are accelerating the process of building your vessel of light. Many of you have begun, or are ready to embark on, your true mission, whatever that may be. Please keep in mind that the ultimate goal is to become a conveyor of love or light. You must live your truth, as you learn to traverse the higher path and fly your vision. You must claim and acknowledge every facet of your being, as you strive for harmony and unified consciousness. Beloveds, we know there will be some pain, discomfort and fear, as you move through this accelerated process, as all the radical changes take place within your world. Know that, together, we will overcome all adversity. Our mission is to open the way for any dear soul who expresses a desire to return to heart-centered, soul-focused harmony. Know that each of you can and will make a difference. Dear ones, when you doubt, need inspiration or strength, come into your pyramid of light, and we will give you courage, lift you up, and inspire you. When you feel lonely or unloved, move into your sacred heart center, and we will be waiting there to fill you with the radiant love of our Mother or Father God. I am Archangel Michael.